smells like eat the bathroom. It smells like a toilet. Mm. Oh boy, and that smell has been in the backyard of some Green Township residents for years. It's coming from Muddy Creek, or more specifically, a leaking sewage pipe in the creek, one the city and the county were supposed to fix. Now the project is known as Consent Decree Project, and it's federally mandated in order to comply with the Clean Water Act. As Marielle Carbone, though, shows us, aside from health problems, every day the city and county argue over a fix for this issue, and it could mean big dollars for ratepayers. Muddy Creek. A peaceful sound, but the smell. If you go into your bathroom, take care of business, that's what it smells like. Which drifts through the air after heavy rain or in the heat. Drive by with your windows rolled up and it permeates the car. I don't know if you can see that stuff hanging. Joe Zita has lived in Green Township along Muddy Creek for 30 years. And aside from the smell, he says there's the sight. Toilet paper is, I guess it's pretty easy to get into the stream. I mean, sanitary napkins, that type of thing have been seen floating in it. Muddy Creek has essentially turned into a toilet. Each year, an estimated 300 million gallons of raw sewage overflows into it because the pipe, which moves the sewage to the wastewater treatment plant, is broken. And it is old, it is cracking, it is broken. And this is not new information. I mean, this is a public health threat. It, however, it is. it has been known. This is why we are under a consent decree. That comment is from city Diana Christie, understand. the director of the Metropolitan Sewer District last year. The city declined our request for an on-camera interview with the utility. Under a federal agreement, a fix was supposed to be done by December 31st, 2019. And right now, MSD estimates that it faces a potential $2.7 million in fines by the EPA. That number goes up every day the project isn't done. If imposed, that money falls on the ratepayers. You would have to ask MSD as to why they haven't moved forward on that. The county owns MSD, but the city staffs and manages it. The two can't get on the same page about how to fix the pipe. We passed a resolution a year ago a year ago to get this going. So we were really clear about the direction. County um, Commissioner Denise Driehouse is talking about this resolution passed in February of 2019, which says to do a fix that meets the county's requirements. We cannot approve something where we knowingly are increasing overflows down in another community. I mean, we can't do that doesn't make any sense. Here's the main difference in what the two sides want. MSD says a larger replacement pipe is needed and that the pipe needs to be removed from the creek for safety reasons. The county argues that a larger pipe will create more overflows downstream, meaning more projects and more money. Instead, it wants a smaller pipe. That's what it's approved, but MSD hasn't done it. The county owns uh, this the the utility, but we run it. Uh, you know, the 600 employees work for the city. We have over 100 engineers. They're saying you got to do it this way, and it's hard not to listen to the professionals. Councilman Greg uh, so Landsman says this is a blaring example of the bigger problem. The framework for MSD doesn't work. You're going to have these larger issues that linger. That the county does agree with. The dysfunction at MSD is playing out here. Landsman is calling for public hearings on this project until it's been resolved. But homeowners along the creek aren't too optimistic. You can, you can live with something. We know it's a problem. They're going to fix it. It gets fixed. That's not happening. And Councilman Greg Landsman plans to introduce that motion to get the public hearing started at Wednesday's meeting, and he says he'll host them every two weeks if need be. Now, I've also got statements from MSD as well as Green Township, which is really the most impacted by this issue but has no say in it. Those are on our website, WCPO.com. Reporting in Green Township, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.